when we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine, we believe that Christ in us is our hope of glory. Peace and blessings. This is Father Paulo for IEC 2016. Undaunted by the persistent rain here in Cebu, almost 14,000 pilgrims from all over the world flock at the IEC Pavilion for the fifth day of the 51st International Eucharistic Congress. Archbishop Romo de Valles of Davao led the morning prayers, celebrating the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas. Archbishop Valles challenged the pilgrims to become beams of hope and sparks of glory today by growing in God's wisdom and by allowing one's life to serve as tables of mercy and compassion. In his trademark wit and wisdom, Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle, Archbishop of Manila, spoke on the Eucharist and the dialogue with cultures. Drawing from his wide pastoral experience as priest and now as president of the Caritas International visiting the Idomeni refugee camp, the charismatic prelate brought the house down as he expounded on the two prevailing cultures that challenge dialogue in the church, in any community and family, namely the culture of alienating individualism and the throwaway culture. Cardinal Tagle then proposed the way of convocation, of sharing of gifts as well as authenticity and credibility in digital culture. Keiichi Sugawara gave a moving testimony of faith being a survivor of the tsunami in Japan. Once asked by a journalist if such tragedy came from God, Sugawara resolutely witnessed to the abiding presence of God. He said, We may have lost a lot from the tsunami, but our gain far outweighs our losses. Sugawara also recalled and has been deeply grateful to the Filipino presence in the community. Hungarian Cardinal Peter Erdo presided over the Mass in the morning. Cardinal Erdo noted that hopelessness and depression are the greatest temptations today. Our mission then is to witness to our faith that life is not an aimless adventure but has goal and meaning, which can only be found in Christ. Moreover, Cardinal Erdo said, A press conference was held in the afternoon. In attendance were Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle, Archbishop Jose Palma, Bishop Milo Vergara, and Father Jose Kilo Kilo. Cardinal Tagle reiterated his point. If you want to grow in cultural intelligence, get to know other cultures, such as the culture of the youth today. We need to listen to the youth even if they are angry. Cardinal Tagle stressed the importance of common meals in the family. He said, Trust, sharing, sensitivity, they are all developed around the meal table. In the afternoon, activities were held in different venues. At the IEC Pavilion, after the talk on belonging starts here, resources and methodologies for spiritual formation for persons who are deaf, was the penitential service led by the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, President Archbishop Socrates Villegas, followed by the Visita Iglesia to seven city churches. Churches visited by the pilgrims were Basilica Minore del Santo Niño, Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral, Santo Rosario Parish, Sacred Heart Parish, Redemptorist Parish, Capital Parish, and Asilo de la Medalla Milagrosa Parish. During the penitential service, Archbishop Villegas asked that forgiveness reign in the hearts between the shepherds and the flocks. He appealed to the pilgrims, Forgive us for using unchrist-like means for spreading love and mercy. May the shepherd and the flock be merciful with each other. The Youth Day, on the other hand, was held at the Hoops Dome, Lapu-Lapu City. Around 5,000 delegates attended the event. Bishop Robert Barron gave a catechesis on Christ and the youth, our hope of glory. Bishop Barron addressed the youth. If Christ is not the center of your life, you become split, you become divided. To be a saint, everybody is to say everything belongs to Jesus Christ. Every part of me belongs to that center. Workshops, pilgrim walk, overnight vigil of prayer and praise, worship were held. A mass was also celebrated to cap the event. Argentinian juggler Paul Ponce and his family once again gave an engaging testimony to the youth. Also in the evening, Voices of God's People, a praise and worship concert was staged as well as an exhibit, The Fabric of Faith, was held. The sixth day of the Congress will grace the presence of Cardinal John Onayekan, who will give a catechesis on the Eucharist, Dialogue with the Poor and the Suffering, 
and Cardinal Oswald Grafias on the Eucharist in the Church's Dialogue with Religions. A General Assembly of the World Federation of the Eucharistic Works of the Church will also be held, as well as death tracts facilitated by Mary O'Mara and Father William Byrne. The Eucharistic celebration will be held at the Cebu Capitol Building presided by Bishop Jarmuid Martin. You may follow us on our social media accounts. This has been Father Paulo Asper of the Society of St. Paul for IEC 2016. As bread and wine we see gave strength to our hearts and made us shine with glee when we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine. We believe that Christ in us is our hope of glory.